Okay, what this video is about. is melting Gatorade bottle. Alright. All these Gatorade bottles, we've been saving them. That's all we've been drinking pretty much lately. So we've got probably when I started when I decided to start saving these a month or three ago, we probably got I don't know how many, hundred. So what this is look at the bottom of your bottle, whatever plastic you're wanting to melt, you should say uh, number two. And I'll take a pic of that and post it uh, into this video. No, number one, sorry. HDPE. And it says it right there. You can't see it there, but I'll post it later. Okay, anyway. melt these I figured it was uh, would be best if we could make these bottles take up as little space as possible before you put it in the oven so that you could melt as many as you could at one time in the least amount of space and I do not melt the labels with the bottle so remove the labels they stay sticky um, you can try it with the labels if you want, but I'm not doing it because I don't know what type of plastic this, uh, these labels are. So the quickest way I could find to uh, take these labels off, score, score the label with something, screwdriver, knife, scissors, whatever. There you go. It takes about, what, three to five seconds per label. If you got a hundred bottles. take 300 seconds. Three to 500 seconds. That's, that could take up some time if you got some friends, family. Um, you can score them all. Just don't, don't hit your hand with that knife or whatever you're scoring it with. I score it right by the where the label glues, glues together. You can peel it off. They break apart. Um, I can leave a little bit of label if I wanted to, just to save time. Just a little bit. It's very sticky. a bunch of them and then take the uh, label off. Don't score one, take the label off, score one, take the label off. I don't think that's any faster. It might be because you're only touching the bottle once if you score it and take it off at one time. It's up to you to get it done. If you got hundreds of them, it's going to take you some time. More than one person wouldn't take as long, okay? And the way I make these take up as little space as possible, take some shears and Squeeze the bottle a little bit and cut a little piece out and then stick the shears in it. And you can pretty much just roll it without roll the bottle around in a circle and let the shears do the work. You don't have to keep cutting them. You just let the shears slip through the uh, bottle. There's one. Okay. Like that. And I cut it right under the uh, lip of the handle here. others. Okay, and I put those in each other like that. And then I cut down the side. That's about it of each one. 
top so that the bottoms will fit into each other. Like this. So, see how this is cut? Just that much. This one's cut the same amount. And you can put them inside of each other. Like that. two, three bottles worth of uh, space, and I've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. At least eleven bottles right there in this little spot. Okay. That's how you can tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tops. So I'm probably missing a top somewhere. Okay, now I'm putting the oven on 165, and I'll probably bake these for, was it 20 or 30 minutes? For the milk jugs, I don't know about these, so. Another thing I did was I left the ring on these. And I might cook the lids, melt the lids separately, because I don't know if those are HDPE either. Alright, and I'll be back. Okay, here's the after effects of melting this, these uh, Gatorade bottles at up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit for about, uh, started at 350 and uh, working my way up to 500, uh, 350 for the first 10 minutes and the next 15 minutes was 500. The, as you can see the, it's very brittle. Um, this is the, these are the tops of the Gatorade bottles. And this is the bottoms. These didn't melt all the way. And I had a, uh, about a, about a 19 inch. Go. 19 inch um, tiles. 19 inch tiles, um, one on the bottom, one on the top, with parchment paper in between, like a sandwich to try to compress this uh, plastic while it was melting.
This one looks like it started to melt. This one definitely started to melt. Looks like a over easy egg. <laughs> On the bottom anyway. I'll show you a break. How easy it is. See that? It just breaks off like a piece of peanut brittle. So I'm going to stick to, I'm not going to use Gatorade bottles. I'm going to use milk, plastic milk jugs. This is PET, PET plastic, number one. Um, milk jugs, the ones I've seen that are opaque, are number two which is HDPE. All right, good one.